Hey guys, we're gonna do a fun little test here tonight and try to figure out what the efficiency is of this Ames 10,000 watt split phase inverter. Of course, the efficiency is gonna vary depending on the inverter's load, but we're gonna calculate it using two different states. The first state is gonna be the evening and nighttime load, and the second state is gonna be a higher load around five to 6,000 watts. And the way we're gonna do that is by comparing the reading on my EKM kilowatt hour meter after the inverter and compare that to the amount of power that's been discharged through the batrium. In order to get an accurate reading, we'll have to switch off the PV input because we don't want a little bit of current trickling tonight and tomorrow morning to affect the results. So I'll switch off all three PCM60X charge controllers. Next, we'll take a reading on the EKM meter. We're at 4772.53. And we'll take a reading on the Batrium. We're at 12.13 kilowatt hours discharged. All right, guys, so it's Saturday morning. It's about 7.24 a.m. Overnight, we used 8.37 kilowatt hours. Now, that value did reset at midnight, so we're going to have to go back and look at the logs to determine what it was at midnight before it reset um, so we can add in last night's usage as well. And over here is a usage profile of last night. It averaged around 950 watts, I'd say, maybe 900. This metric is taken from the Batrium, so this graph does include the losses from the inverter. So out in the battery shed, the EKM meter is reading 4,786.99 kilowatt hours. We will flip our charge controllers back on and then go inside and calculate our efficiency. All right, so by doing some basic math, we can figure out what the efficiency of the inverter was. So we ended the test at 4786.99 kilowatt hours, and we'll subtract our starting value of 4772.53. So that means we consumed 14.46 kilowatt hours of AC power. So I went back through the Batrium and I checked, and we ended the night last night at 20.36 kilowatt hours. So our starting value was 12.13. That means we used 8.23 kilowatt hours last night, and we'll add on the 8.37 from this morning. So we used 16.60 kilowatt hours DC. So now we simply divide these two numbers to figure out what the efficiency is. So we have 14.46 divided by 16.60, and that gives us a peak efficiency of 87.1%. Um, and that's pretty good in my opinion. It's right around where I expected it to be. I certainly didn't expect it to be in the 90s for the Ames inverter. So next, we're going to repeat this test with a much higher load. So for the second test, I have the air conditioner running. And when that compressor kicks on, it will push it around 3,000 watts. And I'm going to go turn the clothes dryer on, which will add another 5,000 watts. So it should be pushing this inverter pretty close to its limit. So I'm going to record the two starting values, go set up a time lapse, and I'll get it started. The inside start is 9.90 kilowatt hours. And the AC start is 4917.87 kilowatt hours. Alright, so that test was a few minutes short of an hour, and you'll see we ended on 15.95 kilowatt hours on the Batrium, and 4,923.66 kilowatt hours on the EKM meter. Okay, so the ending value on the EKM was 4923.66, and the starting value was 4917.87. So that means we used 5.79 kilowatt hours of AC and the ending value on the Batrium was 15.95 and the starting value was 9.90 so that means we use 6.05 kilowatt hours of DC so again by dividing these two numbers we get 0.79 divided by 6.05 an overall efficiency rating of 95.7%. It averaged, and the load for that averaged about 9,000 watts. This efficiency is much higher than I was expecting. I expected it to be in the 90s, but I didn't expect it to be almost 96%. So it would be interesting to see what the efficiency curve of this would be if you were to graph out points at 500 watt intervals from 0 to 10,000 watts, 100% load. 
I'm expecting it to be something like a curve that kind of flattens off towards 100% load. But again, this 96% is excellent. Um, I am very happy with this number. Uh, but that being said, it does operate at the 87.7 most of the time. It doesn't really see a load this high unless I'm drying laundry and the air conditioner is running. Um, but it was definitely a good test. Now that the laundry is done, the inverter is cooling off quite a bit. And you can hear it's substantially quieter than it was before. So yeah, thanks for taking the time to watch. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.